and Miss King. Today we have a story about her sleeping beauty. The children wanted to pick blueberries. There are a lot of blueberries. The butters had the thorns. Find the thorns, said the woman. Oh, said the children, the thorns are sharp. The woman saw some big blueberries. She had some more thick gloves and some skippers. The woman put on the thick gloves. They caught the streams with the skippers. The children went at home. They eat some blueberries. Yuck, this isn't a wrap, said Beth. The wolf picked some more magic, pick up magic tea, and began to clown. The magic is working now, said the bear, said the bear. The magic took them to a castle. Wow, look at the sun, said the bear. A man was stuck in the sun. Oh, help, he called, I can't get free. No man put on the gloves. He got the keeper slip slippers and he cut the man free. Sam, Sam the man. I wanted to get to the castle, but I got stuck in the thorns. I'm a prince, said the man. I need to get into the castle. There was a princess in there. We can help, was the woman. We can lend you the skippers. Thorns are sharp, but the prince cut her way in. Made the man the thorns he caught. The last that they got to the castle. The prince pushed the door open. They all went inside the castle. Everyone was fast asleep. There was dust on everything. Yuck, said the keeper. Look at the cobwebs. There were cobwebs everywhere. There were even cobwebs on the people. At a lot, they found the princess. He was fast asleep. What do I do now? said the prince. You kiss the prince, said Kepa. Then he wakes up. I will not know that. The, the, prince, the prince kissed the princess. Yuck, said the Kepa. The prince will wake up. At last, said the prince. Everyone in the castle woke up. The magic key glowed. Time to go, said Beth. The prince doesn't need us now. The magic adventure was over. Bad was fast asleep. He's no sleeping beauty, said the bear. Thank you.